Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Tugboats have been used in some capacity for hundreds of years. Indeed, these powerful little boats are integral to the global movement of goods, as well as the tourism industry. Since large boats lack the ability to maneuver at slow speeds, tugs employ their powerful engines and low profiles to push, pull, and tow larger ships around obstacles, into ports, and through narrow canals and straits. Modern tugboats are designed specifically for producing large amounts of power and torque, which is key to their ability to move vessels dozens of times their size and weight through all manner of waterways. This tugboat crew operates in Jakarta, Indonesia, a country with a huge shipping industry spread around more than 17,000 islands. Tugs are essential to moving these large shipping vessels through the narrow straits and canals separating the various islands of the archipelago. In a developing country like Indonesia, it's not common to see new, modern tugboats. That said, the sheer importance of the industry necessitates the use of lots of high-tech equipment especially those related to navigation and communication. New or old, all tugboats require that their powerful engines be inspected and maintained daily. These engines are tasked with producing a large amount of torque in order to move massive ships through the water. Aboard most tugs, the largest room in the entire ship will be the engine and maintenance room. Living aboard an Indonesian tug is a no-frills experience. Due to the amount of traffic moving through the nation's various ports, crews typically have to work very long hours, remaining aboard their ships for extended periods of time. Crew quarters are sparse, and provisions consist mostly of water, food, and basic medical supplies. There is also typically a lounge or mess area where crews can unwind when not actively working on deck. This tugboat operates in Dublin Port, one of the busiest shipping ports in the world. Whenever a large ship arrives at the port, its captain will put a call to the tugmaster, who will take a boat out to meet them. The tugboat captain will already have information about the size of the ship, its cargo, and the current sea and weather conditions. Once the tug makes contact with the ship, a harbor pilot will go aboard to help navigate the larger vessel around any underwater obstacles. Meanwhile, the tugs themselves will use a combination of pushing, pulling, and towing to ensure the ship makes it to its berth without running aground damaging other boats or equipment, or damaging itself. Here, you can see specialized tugboats operating in Valdez, Alaska. These state-of-the-art tugs are designed to help escort oil tankers through the waters of Prince William Sound. These tugs can put out around 13,000 horsepower and are extremely maneuverable. After the Exxon Valdez disaster in 1989, 
safely navigating the sound became a top priority among Alaskan officials. The area is quite hazardous due to numerous rocky outcroppings and reefs. Still, the newly designed tugs have all the necessary sonar and digital equipment to guide even the largest vessels through the area safely. Another component of oil spill safety is the port's four new spill response barges. These unique vessels carry special high capacity skimmers that can be used to help contain and clean up any potential spills. All of this is backed up by a shore team that uses satellite technology to track boats coming in and out of the port. The region is known for rough weather and freezing temperatures, which necessitates a lot of extra training for the crew. Off the eastern coast of Madagascar lies the small nation of Miritis, its capital, Port Louis, boasts a highly diverse economy, heavily dependent on exports and shipping. In 2016, the government introduced Sir Edward, one of the most advanced tugboats in the world. The Sir Edward is 497 tons in all, with a length of nearly 100 feet and a breadth of roughly 36 feet. The ship was designed by Hong Kong's Choi Lee Shipyards and named for a well-known Mauritian social leader. Operating with a crew of six, the Sir Edward features two tow hooks, a ship assist split drum hauser, and engines rated to 1900 RPM each. Like all other tugboats, the Sir Edward is designed to provide navigation assistance to large vessels moving in and out of the port. However, it was designed with both performance and comfort in mind. The engine room is massive, taking up the majority of the bottom and stern of the ship. Though its top speed is only a mere 13.8 knots, the CAT 3516C HD diesel engines are capable of producing a large amount of torque and horsepower, giving the ship its amazing pulling and pushing abilities. The ship's bridge is positioned very high above the deck, giving the captain and other crew members a 360-degree view of their surroundings. This allows them to navigate obstacles easily and scan the horizon for potential problems. Crew quarters and other shared areas are simple but well-equipped, ensuring the men and women serving aboard the Sir Edward can do so comfortably. Though they are often thought of as mainly serving commercial vessels, tugboats are essential to helping large naval ships enter ports all around the world. For instance, the average Nimitz-class aircraft carrier is 1,100 feet long and weighs as much as 99,000 metric tons. Though they can maneuver well at their top speed, they can hardly move at all when navigating small, tight areas. So, when entering or leaving a port or dry dock, aircraft carriers must rely on assistance from several tugs. Generally, one or two of these smaller boats will pull the larger ship while others help steer the sides or back into position. Tugs are generally built with rubber. 
compression-molded fenders which allow them to interact directly with the other ship's hull without doing any damage. Tugboats also play an essential role in helping large military ships enter dry dock for repairs and repainting. These man-made canals are extremely narrow, so even the slightest miscalculation can seriously damage the vessel. The concept of using small, powerful vehicles to help move large ones extends beyond lakes, rivers, and oceans. Special low-profile trucks called pushbacks are used to maneuver aircraft around hangars at both commercial and military aviation facilities. On aircraft carriers, where there is even less space to work, pushback trucks have been scaled down into small engines atop which a single operator might ride. Though small in size, these vehicles produce immense amounts of torque, which allows them to pull heavy planes of all sizes around the hangar and onto the carrier's lift elevators. Operating these pushbacks requires extensive training and help from spotters who can provide an extra pair of eyes for tight turns. Unfortunately, the sheer amount of weight these tow tractors are tasked with pulling every day puts a lot of strain on their engines, not to mention other parts of the vehicle. The amount of torque generated by the heavy pulling and pushing of these planes can easily cause a complete engine failure. Here, you can see a Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron mechanic performing routine maintenance on a tow tractor aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Both preventative and emergency maintenance are crucial to the missions of the Theodore Roosevelt and other such aircraft carriers. Were these vehicles to break down completely, it would seriously hinder the flight crew's ability to get aircraft from the internal hangar bay to the flight deck. Aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and other vessels that carry aircraft need to be fully prepared to perform a wide range of repairs at sea. These ships and their crews typically spend weeks or even months at a time away from the port, so it is up to the onboard maintenance crews to handle any problems with the planes, helicopters, and drones kept aboard the ship. Much of this maintenance is performed right in the hangar itself. The main deck of most carriers includes space for storing tools and other equipment. Welding, repair, and machining must be down on the third deck, just below the hangar. This is also where any special electrical wiring will take place and where new parts will be machined and tested. From tugboats to pushbacks, there's simply no underestimating the importance of smaller vehicles when it comes to helping larger ones.
whenever one designs a 1,000-foot-long ship or 80,000-pound aircraft, they acknowledge that both speed and maneuverability will be sacrificed for bulk. Tugboats and pushbacks help keep these marvels of modern engineering from suffering unnecessary damage when they are most vulnerable. Meanwhile, the men and women of the Air Force and Navy maintenance crews keep these powerful little tools in perfect working order. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.